Hey everybody, welcome to another Quick Tips. So this is a fairly common question that comes up uh, all across the different platforms. So this can be, um, in this case, it was in a vinyl cutting uh, discussion group for the Cricut. Um, this can also be applied to uh, laser cutters, um, CNC, um, you know, different engraving uh, technologies that are out there. So really, the core of it is how to take an image that you've seen and convert it into a usable format for your particular application. Um, in this case, it's an SVG, which is pretty common um, and is supported across uh, across most platforms, um, which is scaled vector graphics. So we're going to take a look real quick at how we can do that. So first thing we want to do is we want to grab a vector uh, application. And Inkscape is one of the best free options out there. Um, so let's go over to inkscape.org and you can go to download current version and select whatever um, your your operating system is if you're on a Mac, if you're on Windows, if you're on Linux. So go through all the motions to download and install Inkscape. And um, at that point, what we'll do is we'll go back and we're going to just literally just copy this image. So uh, get in Inkscape installed, get it running so it'll look like this when it's running and then go back over to your image in this case it's a facebook image and you can either copy the whole image you can right click and, and copy image in my case i'm going to use my screen grabber utility here um, i'm using green shot which is another free application that allows me to just hit print screen and then i can draw a bounding box to copy what i want so really all i want is about as you know about that much of the image there whatever i can get without a lot of external noise and then so i'll copy that to clipboard and so from there i'll go over to inkscape and i'm going to paste it and so now my image is in inkscape so one of the keys to image tracing is contrast uh, the more contrast you have the better your tracing application is going to uh, give you a, a result that you're looking for um, in this case it's great because i've got black on white but if you've got something that's really noisy let's say you wanted you know this part down here in the wood um, it can get a little bit tricky and so really you'll want to look for the highest contrast image that you can in order to do a trace so once we have the image here in Inkscape, I'm going to click on it to highlight it, and then I'm going to go to Path, Trace Bitmap. And so that'll bring up a little pop-up window, and if you're on the, this, this changed between versions, so as long as you're on version 1 point whatever and not on the old 0 0.9, um, it should look like this. So uh, default should be brightness cutoff. This has been by far the most reliable um, and the simplest to use. You can play with some of the others, like edge detection, um, but if you look at the preview, um, you know, it just gives you an edge drawing as opposed to uh, filling in, you know, all the dark spots, which is what we want. Um, center line tracing, it kind of grabs everything. So what we really want, we want brightness cutoff, and you see that. Um, you know in the preview that's pretty much what we're looking for and you can play with some of these options here um, I'm not going to get into what each of them does uh, but you know brightness thresholds probably your biggest one if you've got an image that maybe isn't as high contrast as this one bright using that brightness threshold might help you out a little bit so once I've got that set I'm just gonna hit uh, so I'm still selected I'm on trace bitmap and I'm gonna hit okay and just real quick if you happen to click away from your image notice that this kind of grays out it doesn't know what you want to trace so you want to be make, make sure that you're clicked on the image itself um, all right so i've got the image selected i'm on trace bitmap i hit ok and that's just the default settings and so what i'll do is come back over here and drag this out because what it did is it overlaid it so i'm going to drag it out so now i have two distinct um, images going on here I can, if you're happy with that, you can delete the original. So you can just click on the original, hit the delete key, um, and it'll go away. If you're not happy with it, you can delete this version and go back in and do your trace again. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to delete it. And at that point, I have a perfectly functional image. Um, now, if you see here, there are some artifacts from you know the wood grain that was in the wood flooring. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my uh, edit nodes button over here 
and then click on the image and you'll see that it brings up all of my vector nodes, uh, all my curves and points and everything. And what I'm actually going to do is just come down here, kind of draw a box around these things and hit the delete key and make them go away. And you can zoom in as tight as you want and do this for the rest of any, anything in the image that you don't want. So, you know, even if you didn't want one of these ornaments, you could come in here, highlight those and delete those and it would make the ornament go away in this case. Um, so just, you know, you can play around with that. Be careful because you can really cause some things to go haywire. Um, if you delete the wrong node, all of a sudden your curve might go way off into space up there. Um, if you do that, you know, obviously just control Z, undo it and get back to, you know, where you were. Uh, but at that point, everything's set to go. Um, so I can just save this. Um, and when I save it, it's going to default to a, an SVG file. So once I save that to an SVG, I can go over to, um, in this case, it's going to be the Cricut Explorer software or, you know, in, in some of my other, uh, for some of my other followers, maybe bring it into Lightburn um, or Easel or something like that. So at that point, you've got an SVG that's ready to go. Uh, so hopefully that helps everybody and, um, you know, just uh, play around with it. You can only learn by experimenting. You can't hurt anything. Um, you can always start over again. So, all right, take care.